Good morning, Volks. It is Friday, October 11th, and it's uh, 2019. And yeah, this is vlog number 16. And this is Chris from Classic VW Bugs in New York. So, what's going on, guys? I know it's been a few, uh, couple weeks. I've uh, been a little bit on a hiatus from doing the vlogs. Um, went down to North Carolina this past weekend, and then I had my, my show uh, the following week, the, the weekend before. So I've been just kind of busy, you know, between working on cars and getting stuff together. Um, so just did a couple, uh, like I said, did a trip down to North Carolina with my wife. She's a veterinarian uh, tech. So there was a course at NC State and she took a uh, ultrasound course there. So uh, put a little feather under her cap for that. And uh, so we drove down and it was a good time. So, um, but what are we talking about this week? Well, one uh, one week from tomorrow, guys, is my annual fall foliage cruise. So the 2019 fall foliage cruise is October 19th. It's Saturday, and we meet at my shop, 22 Burtz Road in Congress, New York, not, uh, 8 a.m. So you gotta get there between eight and nine. We leave at nine sharp. <clears throat> if you do not get there by nine and you are late, we are gone. So, got to do it on a timely matter. It's pretty much like a 60-mile cruise, and it's uh, it's about three hours or so. We do two stops, uh, and we all stay together, so which is really nice. But we do do a couple stops for some sightseeing, and then the, the fall foliage colors. We do a, a great drive through the seeing the trees and the highways and such, the mountains, the roads. Everything's gorgeous. Uh, it's it's probably one of the better cruises across the country um, <clears throat> so it'd be good to see you guys come out for that it's free to all I'm gonna have a food spread uh, at the end and we come back to the shop and we're gonna do some food uh, have some music playing and stuff and yeah it's a great time I mean I've been doing this I think <clears throat> I don't know eight years and uh, it's got a national following, really. I mean, we were written up in Folks America magazine one time, and they did a nice spread on the on the, the cruise. And of course, I got past videos that you can go see, um, you know, of, of the cruise in the past years and how nice it is. So, next Saturday, one week from tomorrow, October nineteenth, come out, bring out your dub, anything air cooled, VW, Porsche, that sort of thing, uh, rear engine sort of car, you know. Uh, that's what we want on the cruise. So uh, I hope you guys can join us because it's a great time. I mean, I get people that fly in from different states to be part of this. I've had people come down all the way from Canada uh, to be part of this cruise. Uh, I get a friend of mine every year that flies in from California uh, to be part of this cruise. So, um, And then this year, which I've started doing um, in my past videos, I don't know if you guys saw my Treffin video of my show I did two weeks ago. Uh, I have another, I hired here, uh, another fella to do some video editing for me to uh, shoot and edit uh, some of my videos uh, lately uh, just so I can free, free myself up of some time and uh, what's funny is <clears throat> I used to be a substitute teacher before I started doing all this all the the, the, uh, the restoration stuff and the school district that I would uh, teach at because I was that's when I was I wanted to be a filmmaker so I figured substitute teaching would give me flexible time uh, to continue my uh, my dream of being a filmmaker, and uh, it's funny that there are a few kids that I, maybe I influenced because I used to show them my videos. They used to always talk about movies and directing and writing uh, to the kids, and they were really taken by it, you know, the, especially in, in high school age. And sure enough, the kid who I bumped into recently, who's doing my videos now, some of my videos now, I substitute taught at the school district, so I thought that was pretty cool. And he's a filmmaker now, so that's I thought that was pretty ironic. So. Anyway, short little tidbit there. Um, so what's going on this week? So we did some crazy media blasting this week. Uh, one of our Build-A-Bug projects, which is really uh, heartwarming, um, uh, Landon's 1958 Build-A-Bug uh, project. Landon's been on the list for over a year now, and we finally had the car shipped to us. And he was right; he was up to bat. So I said, "Bring up the car, and uh, let's start." Let's start blasting and seeing what's going on. And uh, so he, he shipped the car up from Texas. And right up from the get-go, I did kind of warn him that 
Um, you know, this car's hurting. It's, it's got some issues. Uh, but once we media blast, we'll really see what's going on. So uh, we had a media blasted this this week, and we had some rain, so the guy had to come back. But if you guys have never media blasted before, and you're looking to do that for your Beetle, and you have a project, and uh, it, it's a great way to really get down to brass tacks and start from scratch. Um, I know there's other methods out there to to strip your car. I mean, there is that gel stuff that you can buy at AutoZone or any of your auto parts stores and you literally put the gel on the car and the gel will eat into the layers of paint um, and then you start scraping off the, the stuff you know the, the paint the bondo all that stuff you got to scrape it off it's very messy um, I didn't like it you know it's got an odor to it I, I just don't like that stuff um, I mean the media blasting with sand we do we use a guy that has dust as water blasting so it doesn't get all cloudy with dust um, but that's messy too <laughs> I mean it's it's like mud I mean when he's when he's blasting the car it's all you know you see it getting caked into the different areas and things uh, so they do hose it down of course but and then there's supposed to be a chemical in that blasting to uh, like kind of preserve the metal for a short time so it doesn't flash rust uh, so then you have time to then bring it into your painter's uh, shop and then maybe get it primed or you prime it yourself or whatever so the pros and cons of blasting um, you know number one it, it is an expense so it's about a thousand bucks twelve hundred dollars depending on how much you blast we just blast our shells I don't like to blast my chassis or anything because I like I don't like sand getting everywhere inside my chassis and the mechanical parts of things. We've had that before. We blasted our chassis and uh, God, it's just everywhere. You know, the sand is just gritty. It's in the joints and the front end stuff and just uh, you know made more work. So, but the blast the shell is really good. So what you do is you want to strip your car. And I've spoken about this, I've shown videos before in the past, you can go to my YouTube channel, just do a search on media blasting or sand blasting. And, uh, you know, we hire a guy to come do it, so we take the body off the chassis, and it's easy then for him to get in and out of, you know, blasting the shell. You want to try to get as much of the areas as possible, because, you know, these cars are how many years old now? 40, 50, 60 years old. You don't know how many paint jobs they might have had, how much layers of Bondo are on them, how much plastic is there. So you want to start from scratch. And when you start from scratch, that's only going to make for a better uh, paint job. In the end, it's going to work better for the, you know, for your body and paint man. Now, I do understand that some of these um, services might not be offered where you live, um, so you might have to travel a bit to take it somewhere. Uh, some of these guys that are out there um, that do the media blast and the dustless water blasting, especially in the New York area, which. They, they're getting kind of scarce now. Some of them, they started businesses a few years ago. Now they're, they're hanging it up. I don't know. Uh, they're mobile, so they'll come to you. You just need the area for them to blast. And you will need a nice area. You're going to need a big area that's not going to disturb your neighbors. It's not going to disturb people around. Um, so you're not going to want to do it in a residential area, right? Um, so I would look into, uh, you know, a good area, uh, an open area for you to do that. Again, uh, there are environmental regulations to, in some states where they can and cannot do that stuff. So just you got to look into it. Um, but just I would say just do a Google search for you know dustless you know blasting or, or media blasting in, in my area on Google and see who comes up. Um, you know the downside to it again is um, if the guy is not skilled enough to to blast. Dustless water is good in a way where it doesn't heat. The water cools uh, the blasting so it doesn't heat the surface and it's not going to warp uh, the metal in any way uh, you know, as, as they're blasting because it's got water, it's cooling it. If it's not on the right angle and he's, he's pointing it incorrectly towards say your door or your quarter panel or something and he's putting too much pressure or has the wrong angle, he could warp the metal. So 
I would do a background check on some of these guys and make sure if they're used to doing railings, because they don't just do cars, you know, then most of these guys will do a lot of the different things to, to clean off rust. Um, so do a little bit of a check and ask them, have you done classic cars before? Have you worked on cars before? And, and you know, just kind of get some feedback from that. Um, you know, if he's been doing railings or fire hydrants or other things like that that they're restoring or, you know, maybe refrigerators, you know, old school refrigerators or something, uh, it's something to look into. Um, you know, and again, it's it does get messy and it does get within your car. So it's going to get in within your heater channels. It's going to get in your quarters. So it's a good idea. Of course, you're going to have to flush the car, uh, blow it out. Whether you got a backpack blower, you got some compressed air or something, <clears throat> you're going to have to clean these these cars out. We've gotten caught a couple times. Oh my gosh, where we finished the whole car. Oh my phone's jumping. We finished the whole car and we're ready to take it out on the test drive. And we always like to test the heat, of course. We turn the heat on and all the sand starts coming up through the vents and coming out. So you got to make sure you blow out the heater channels too. Uh, front to back and you know get a blower compressed air and blow that sand out oh my god because we got it all over the car one time uh, so <clears throat> you live and learn uh, but um, it's a good thing to do you want a really top quality restoration now you can go media blasting everyone thinks that's a great way to you know to start it is but you got to then have the right painter where he's going to use the right materials and it's you know still the paint shouldn't bubble or anything like that I've still seen paint jobs where a guy had something or if we've even experienced some of it where an old painter of ours that we don't use anymore um, we media blasted the car and then sure enough he didn't use good materials or didn't his timing wasn't right with applying materials I'm not a body guy so I'm not an expert you guys know better than I do and uh, sure enough the, the, the paint still started to fail and started a bubble so uh, you know you can have the best media blast job in the world if, if the, the body guy does not know how to uh, do the right combinations of things you can still have a problem so uh, we've experienced that too we used to think that you know media blast in the car you start absolutely fresh there should be no problems and there should be no problems you know you're paying an expense uh, you know a good amount of money for this so um, but if, if you're in a different country and you're not allowed or you don't have access to media blasting, then you're down to uh, sanding, uh, DA sanding. So the, the body shop would have to DA sand uh, all the material off the body uh, to, do, to get you down to bare metal. Now, they're not going to get everywhere, of course, because the sandblasting can get into tight corners, but uh, they, can get, uh, they can get most of them. And we've had great paint jobs with guys DA sanding, too. So... Um, but something to talk about. I mean, um, it came onto my mind this week because we did some some blasting to Landon's '58, and Landon's car. Going back to Landon, um, really cool that they've owned the car since '58. The family, the grandfather, bought the car in '58, and he sent me a picture. Um, but I don't know. I'll post it up here on the video. And uh, it just when you get stuff like that. Uh, man, I mean, you see the way the car looked when it was new and uh, it just looked awesome in that old black and white photo. I mean, things like that, that's what resonates. That's what touches your heart. That's the kind of stuff where it's like, oh, you know, you want this car to come out stellar, killer, you know. Um, and when we got the car, it was like, when he shipped it up to me, it's like taxi cab yellow. <laughs> so it's got that, there's this yellow to it on it. So when people were just painting whatever they wanted on the on their Beatles back in the day they didn't care um, but the original color which is really cool 58 had a one year only color of uh, glacier blue and glacier blue is like a lighter version of strato silver so and they were still doing metallics in the 50s that's what's great about the Beatle in the 50s man they had some great colors they had metallic and um, you know, a lot of people when I go to car shows and they ha I have a metallic color on my Beetle, they don't they don't think it's real. They don't think it's the original color. And I tell them all the time, yeah, it is. You know, it's in the '50s. Beat Volkswagen had metallic for for their cars, so uh, very very cool. Um, 
I'm looking forward to getting on it. I mean, the car's been blasted. It's, uh, it is hurting. It's got some areas that need help. But um, hopefully we can get on this car and, you know, get this thing back to its glory. So uh, that is it, guys. Um, so media blasting. Good stuff to do. We always do it with our cars. It just, you know, first of all, it's a lot quicker to get the car down to, uh, it, it, within a few hours, the car can be down to brass tacks. Um, good way to do a restoration. If you're really, if you have a car that's dear to your heart and you want it to look killer, it's a great way to start is by media blast. Again, expect to pay anywhere from like 800, so I say $1,200, something like that, maybe even $1,500 uh, to do the blast. Um, if you're just doing the shell, if you're doing chassis as well, it might might be more. So, um, and if there are any other little pieces you want blasted as well, say like the steering column or something, or the shifter, or the e-brake handle, um, things like that, um, you know, lay that out for the guy as well. The small pieces from the body, the tail lights, the grills. Um, separate, I would say, separate your fenders and your hoods, your front and rear hood. Take them off for the guy so he can get underneath and blast them while they're on the ground instead of trying to get underneath with the hood up or something. So, uh, sorry about the sun glare, guys. It's morning. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's, that's the best, one of the best tips I can give you for that is just be prepared. Completely strip your car. Completely gut the Beetle. Uh, take everything off of it. You don't want anything on there. You don't you don't want glass in there. You don't want seals. You don't want chrome. None of that stuff, you know. So, I gotta get gas. Um, so, yeah. Uh, definitely uh, do your homework when it comes to media blasting. Watch my videos and see what we do. Uh, and what we've done in the past. So, Alright, guys. Long-winded video. I apologize. Uh, just wanted to give you some input on sandblasting. We do it all the time. I did it this week, so it was on the top of my head. Oh, the other alternative, which is out there, if you ever do a Google search, is laser. Get this, it's like futuristic. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, they do laser blasting now. And the thing looks like a, a huge, guy's like holding a gun. Like a, It looks like a space gun, to be honest. Um, if you've ever played like, I used to play old computer games back in the day called Quake. I don't know if you remember Quake, and a first-person shooter game, and uh, kind of space futuristic stuff. And he had like, <laughs> like a, a BFG gun or something, and it shot like a blast of lasers out. I mean, it reminds me of, of this gun. But do a, do a YouTube search on la laser media blast or laser uh, rust removal. I'll have a link in the description below. Uh, check that out. Um, pretty nutty I mean I gotta say I mean it's uh, and you know you didn't see much like dust or debris or anything I mean they were doing a small piece the video that I found but laser blasting that's <laughs> I have yet to see it in action in person but online it's there <laughs> so all right guys Chris from classic October 11th 2019 in the bag vlog number 16 in the bag don't forget my um, my cruise is next week, the 19th. It's free to all. Anybody can come. Anything air-cooled is welcome to attend. And please be sure you got a full tank of gas, and please be sure your car runs good. Uh, we don't want any breakdowns on this. Uh, make sure you run it thoroughly. Your, everything's tuned up and checked. Because if you break down and you're in the middle of that line, you jeopardize everybody else as well. And now our line breaks up and people are not experiencing the cruise the way they should be. Uh, so we've had a couple breakdowns in the past, but you know, no biggie, but just be sure uh, that you know you are running well. Because if you are not and you do break down, we, do, we are on some roads that are very tight on shoulders on the road. So if you don't have really, I'm sorry, if, uh, some of the places we go to have no shoulders at all even. So there's no place for you to pull off and it, it can be kind of hassle. So uh, just make sure you got a full tank of gas and you're all prepped and ready to go, guys. All right, take care.